guys, it's Elisa, and today I'm going to be doing a product review for the Milani Eye Primer. So, it's about dusk right now, and I'm trying out my new Glamcore Elite Lights for a video, because normally I have daylight, because I really like natural lighting, but a lot of you guys are asking about it. So here it is. I am using my DSLR, it's the Canon 60, with the 40mm lens, and I have it set to fluorescent lights. And it's really hot in here and I can't tell if it's the overhead light or like these lights right here. But let me know what you think of the lighting and then I can go into more detail about the Glamcore in probably like a month and a half because I really want to try it out before I, you know, give you guys a review. So, on to the review at hand. It's the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. This isn't a review. This is a, oh my god, I can't believe it's available. It's not butter kind of review because it's really amazing. So. This is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer Lightweight Invisible Finish. Works on all skin tones. This thing right here is $6.50. It's so, I would say, cheap because I have been an avid user of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance since it came out. Like, I tried the Urban Decay one. I don't really like the original because I have drier lids. Now, my review is going to be based upon my own lids. I don't have super oily lids, so I can't tell you if this works on super oily lids as amazing as like the Urban Decay one does, but this one right here works great on my lids. I don't get creasing or anything like that, so I'm really excited. Now, I personally use a very, very thick moisturizer around my eyes because I just have really dry eye area, and I think that plays a part into, you know, the creasing and things like that, but it hasn't creased or anything. So what it is, it is made in the USA, and it says to apply it from your lash line to your brow bone and wait 30 seconds, then you start applying your eyeshadow. The reason for that is because you don't want it to be streaking, you don't want to change the integrity of the composition of your eyeshadow when it's kind of like wet and sticky. You want it to be dry, and it's really easy to blend, and it lasts all day, and it doesn't crease. So this one right here is $6.50. The Too Faced Shadow Insurance, it varies in price, I guess, depending on if you buy it at a show or if you're buying it online, but you're looking to be at least close to $20, if not more, depending on what country you live in. So this one right here, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance is 0.35 ounces, and the Milani one is 0 0.30 ounces, so it's only 0.35. 0, 0.5 more for this, and this one right here is only 650. It works the same. So let me show you on my hand so you guys can see the colors. All right, so you can see here I've got the insurance and the primer, and I'm going to apply this to my hand. So this one right here is the Milani, and then this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I'm just gonna blend it in. I'm gonna smear it. I got a little carried away, put a lot here, but just so that you guys can see. They both blend right into the skin and you're gonna give it 30 seconds to dry. So just for fun, I'm gonna use this clean color palette right here. It's like $1.50 because it's super, super cheap. And I'm gonna use this pink color right here. Load that up onto the brush. And on the very top is the Too Faced. So I'm gonna pat that down. Now we're gonna do the Milani. So that's right here should clean my brushes better next time. And I'm gonna pat that down, same way. And you can see that they work the same. So just gonna pat the color on, how you normally would. And you can see that they're both really, really intense. And they would normally be the same, it's just that my brush is dirty, so I have to clean it. But you can see that it's super, super adhesive. Now I'm going to show you the powder on its own without any primer. It makes a huge, huge difference. And I'm patting it down, not doing anything different. I'll load up my brush again. Alright, so that wraps up the Milani Eyeshadow Primer Review. I absolutely love it. The only thing I would say is it doesn't come in other colors, but I bet you they're going to at another time right now. It's just like a nude, sheer color, and it might be a little bit harder to find. It's available at like Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, like those kinds of places, or online for $6.50 on their website. So yay! I'm so excited to introduce to you guys something that is cheap, that works, and it's so comparable to the eyeshadow insurance. The reason why I'm not going to compare it directly to the Urban Decay Primer Potion is because I think that one is a little bit of a drier formula where when you put it on it's a little bit harder to blend if you have drier 
skin. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the lighting with these Glamcore lights. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.